I think a lot has to be considered with an open mind. We have a constitution as it is. A lot will argue that it's flawed and certain things were omitted. That's fine. And, but those who put it together, put it together with, with the best they had available to them, they put a framework together. And I believe constitutions should be living and breathing documents with time when it is glaring to all beyond a shadow of a doubt that changes need to be made. I think everybody should come together and say, okay, how can we make a change that improves on what was previously existing? And as you said, there once was the constitution that uh, officially recognized uh, our role as traditional rulers. And uh, I think it is gradually going back in that direction. It's been considered and I would encourage that, that it should be because we are only here for the benefit, for the betterment, for the improvement of this nation, nothing more. I don't even know if calling it a ticking time bomb is appropriate anymore because it's getting so close. What is um, the unemployment rate right now? 30 something? Percent, yeah. And we have a very young population. These young men and women have energy and they have time. And if they are not using their energy and time in a productive direction, then you can be sure it's going to be in a counterproductive direction. It's just simple logic. And so, um, while it's not a situation that is unique to Nigeria, we have to embrace any and every creative measure, once again, within a legal framework that engages these young men and women. Um, I know sometimes there is a tendency to want to uh, not be too quick to go in an uncharted course because you feel, oh, there's no control. It could just spin out and maybe the status, the status quo could no longer be the status quo. Uh, but these things should be guided. There should be real guards. Because if we just say, oh, because we have no idea, we can't just do that, God forbid, another few years could pass. It could become 40%.